and field in all the way around. So the Hounds roll the dice. 2-1 pitch. Chopper to first base. Runner going to come home. Here's the throw by Olsen, and they got him. No, the ball. No, he dropped the ball. The Rough Riders are going to make a good argument. Boy, I think the Rough Riders have a brilliant argument here. Joe Mikulik is all over this. That is a blown call. That ball was never in Maxwell's glove. Bruce made the sweep tag, but the ball came loose, and Ronnie Teague did not see it. The Rough Riders are arguing, and they are absolutely, positively correct. Joe Mikulik had a perfect look at it. The dugout did. Now the Rough Riders are asking if third base umpire Clayton Ham didn't see it as well. Olsen's throwing. They're going to talk about it. This run will count. There's just, there's no way. Again, this is going to be another fielder's choice, I would think, because the play was pretty close. I don't know if you can call it an error. But there's no doubt the run should have scored, and I would think Clayton Ham would have seen that. Now, now they're including the first base umpire Clay Park in this. Clay couldn't have, he would have had no I don't think any, well, he might have had a look at it, actually. But the third base umpire, Clayton Ham, had to have seen this run has to count. I mean, there's, I can't say there's no doubt, because of course there's doubt. But it, run should count. Going to be a fielder's choice with Skoll scoring. And, boy, they're still saying out, oh, my goodness. Boy, and Joe Mikulik is furious. And down goes the helmet. He is tossed, but, of course, that's that's understandable. And he's going to go kick dirt all over the plate. And Mikulik is furious, and he's furious with everybody on the crew. I, again, I, Joe, I am, I am with you. It's, it's stunning. That's a, and now, oh, he's taking his shoe off. Well, oh, and his other shoe off. Mikulik has taken both. Uh, this is a first. I have never seen that. He has taken and thrown down both of his shoes. And the jersey is untucked. And he and now the way well, he's gonna, I think he wants to take the jersey off. And he's gonna kick his shoe. Well, let's we're getting, we we are we are rapidly digressing here from a very valid argument to a third grader who just lost his lunchbox. But that be, that being said, Joe, you're right. And I am trying while watching the. Boy, now he throws his shoe and kicks the bat and kicks his helmet and throws his shoe and still looks like he wants to take the jersey off and can't fight, figure out the methodology for doing that. So, boy, out at home plate is Jake Skoll. Now, if you, and oh, here comes a trash can. Well, that's going to add to the fine. I get it, but at a certain point, let's, uh, let's try to act a little older than 11. But nonetheless, again, it all gets back to the point he's absolutely right. Been trying to, in my mind, trying to determine, because remember, the three umpires got together and talked this over before coming up with what appears to be a horrible decision. What goes through my mind is this. Clearly, the ball was in Maxwell's glove just for an instant, only for an instant, but it really looked on the tag. The ball came right out. And again, exactly what any of the... And all three guys had to have agreed on this or said they didn't see any differently. And and again, it was just instantaneous. So that's just that, that's three guys making an awful decision. 